Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if this is your first time. My name is Dale, and this is my 2018 Ford Fiesta ST track car. You join me at about 5.30 in the morning. We are heading over to Laguna Seca for a track day with Corsa Club. It's going to be about two hours on the road. This is my first time on Laguna Seca, first time with this, uh, this group with Corsa Club. So I'm excited, and uh, we'll see how this goes.
session is done. Um, wow, this is this is quite the track. Um, I was able to do a, a 153. That was my best. I forget the uh, point, the decimal point after that, but 153. I saw another uh, YouTuber that's got a Fiesta ST. Um, did a 147 with a upgraded turbo, and I would. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to 147. I'm hoping. I, I, I think I could get down to the 150, 151. Um, if I can get below 150, I'd be over the moon. Not too bad on traffic. There's a lot of cars here. Uh, there was a couple laps where I was uh, caught up behind a couple people, but um, overall, not bad. They did a pretty good job about. Uh, pointing people by and everything. Uh, I've already had a couple retirements. Uh, uh, Focus RS getting getting towed in right now that broke down on mid lap. Um, but so far so good. Car did really well. The brakes, well, the brakes work really well. The only issue with it is they like dive to the right. So I'm not sure what's up with that balance. I think it just has something to do with that front right rotor is kind of messed up. Um, from the uh, previous grinding, again, if you didn't watch my last video of Chuckwalla where I explained the brake issues that I had at that at that track day, go watch that one. We'll, uh, we'll be off for the next like 40 minutes. We have five different run groups here, um, 40, 50 minutes, something like that. Uh, every, it's same style as the other as the other group that I went with. So track where it's every 20 minutes. So I got some downtime until then to uh, relax, see what's going on around here. And uh, get ready for my next session. So let's see if I can beat that that time, 153. <laughs> in from session two. Uh, we were a little bit delayed because a, uh, in the advanced group, a GT3 RS crashed, spun and crashed at the last corner, unfortunately. And it was, took some time to clear off his car and unfortunate, but shows the, uh, the, the price you can pay for being out here. Uh, I can't really believe it, but I, I did at 149.3. Um, I don't know how much else this car has. Um, I felt like I was on the edge, the car was on the edge, maybe, I mean, maybe if I could break it in 148s, but I, I don't think I can get much further faster than that. At the last segment, I set the goal of low 150s, or like, you know, 151, 150, um, 
I didn't think it was going to happen, to be honest. I didn't think I'd be able to find three seconds in one session. One thing I did notice is my, let's see, can I rotate without falling? My seat here, you can see how much that thing moves. When I bolted this in, it's not like, there's issues with like the threading and it doesn't quite fit properly, but uh, it feels like it's moving a little more than it used to, but that's my only gripe. Other than that, I'm, like I said, super excited. 149.3, it's nice and cool here. Uh, haven't had any issues with overheating. Mountain right radiator coming in clutch on that. We'll see how many, uh, how many extra sessions I, I do, how many I push really hard, or just maybe have some fun with it. Hoping for some, some safe, some more safe sessions. I might go get some food now. Uh, I'm pretty hungry, and it's 12 o'clock. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you soon. existing time I did a one uh, what was it 14938 instead of 139 no 4930 eight hundredths of a second off my uh, my PB uh, it's this is my last session before the lunch break and I'm gonna decide if I want to stick around for the last two sessions that I have um, again realistically don't feasibly think I'm gonna improve very much, um, and if at all. And it's it seems like just unnecessary amounts of wear on the tires and the pads, which the pads are doing phenomenal. Uh, braking is awesome, and they still have a bunch of material left. Um, well, actually, I should correct myself. I've only checked the uh, passenger's front. I haven't checked the driver's front yet, so I'm about to go check that. If you join me, by the way, sitting in the spare tire well. What well, you get when you have a gutted, uh, gutted car and you forget a, I don't know, lawn chair. I could sit in that seat, but... Oh, be bothered. This is not bad either. It's a wonderful day out here. I was a little worried today would be extremely misty full day. Not really worried, but like that would affect our you know, grip and traction and all that and visibility. Um, so I'm glad that it's you know, sun came out a little bit. I was wearing sunglasses for this last run, and then the sun went away. All up day two, you'll probably either hear from me on the road home or after next session. So we'll see. Uh, 
Alright guys, that is going to be it from me today for Laguna Seca. Um, did what I came here to do, and I'm really pleased with that. Um, I just figured it. I didn't have a particular goal in mind. I already beat the goal that I had set for myself. And again, it would just have caused excess unnecessary wear on the tires and brakes. Um, as well as, you know, as it's still, I'm driving to and from the track. Uh, maybe once I have, you know, a, a, a truck that I, where I'm towing this car, and I, you know, have a way to get home, even if I break this, then I may be a little more willing to stay a full day and, you know, send it even harder. But as of right now, got two hours to drive home, so I'd rather, uh, I'd rather drive home. Successful day, I love the track. Uh, perfect weather for it today, it's definitely like TV weather. Um, I don't know exactly what we got to, but I, I want to say it was never higher than about 60, uh, maybe at the highest when, when the sun was out briefly, but uh, with cloud cover it kept dropping in the 50s, which was awesome. My tires were, uh, seemed to have been mounted or, no, I'm sorry. They weren't mounted wrong. I had them on the wrong side, essentially. Uh, I'll put the picture that I took up here so you can see what I mean. The, the fronts and the rears were opposite rotations um, as far as their tread patterns. And I didn't realize that until after I pulled them off the car at the end of the day. But it didn't seem to hinder my performance at all. So if any of you are familiar with why tires are rotational one way or the other and what it could have done, you know, maybe if I had them rotated the right way, I would have, uh, I would have beat that 147, who knows, uh, I'm just kidding, that would have made two seconds worth of a difference, um, but definitely you can see in the picture as well, the, uh, the rears had a lot of inner wear, which I guess sense is I've got rear camera plates. I'll probably have to run those on the front the next event to maybe even out the wear a little bit. But I mean these these tires have two track days on them and look like you know they've got signs of wear obviously but they definitely look like they could go for many more sessions and days. Um, speaking of sessions and days I don't know exactly what my next one is. First one since I've been up here in Northern California. I'm back here in Northern California where I grew up. Um, already attended Sonoma Raceway. What well, was a dragon drift event, not a, not a road course event. But I think Sonoma or Thunder Hill, or I'm also eyeing uh, Button Willow. There's like a, an actual series that's that's going to be there that uh, I think I'd like to somehow get involved in. So yeah, we'll we'll see what the next event is. One of those three probably Thunder Hill. That'll be it for me today. Thank you for coming along this, this journey with me. Um, I appreciate any and all feedback that you might have about suggestions for how to improve lap times on you know actual driving. Um, any tips on preventative stuff. Anything you got, I'm, I'm here to learn and I'll